treatment. The older a woman becomes, the greater chance that she has that a baby will have Down syndrome or some other aneuploidy, some other chromosome abnormality. So, for example, um, a woman who's 40 years old having her first baby is at greater risk than a woman who's, say, 25 years old. I'm 41 years old. Um, it is my second pregnancy. I miscarried um, early, early on, um, about four months back. Um, well, my concern is to find out if there's any genetic defects. In the United States, if you walk through the door and you're 35 at the time you're going to deliver, we have a standard where we offer you invasive testing like amniocentesis. For women who are 35 and older, although that procedure carries a small risk, the medical community believes the benefits of such testing outweigh the risks. I always tell women, particularly who are 40 or over, a positive pregnancy test is not a baby. We have to be very cautious when someone comes in and they're very excited because they've been trying to get pregnant and they're 40 years old and they, and they call us and say, you know, wonderful news, the, the home pregnancy test is positive. And we need to caution them that before we can say, yes, this is a good pregnancy, we need to establish viability. And the older the mother is, the more concerned we are. Uh, in the early 90s, maybe only 5% uh, percent were 35 and older. Uh, that number is easily doubled, and it is expected in a few years to even double then. Well, um, I didn't marry until a year ago, and um, for myself, I, n I have seen you know, family and friends and many people around me, um, some being single parents, and I know how difficult it is, and, and it just was not something I wanted for myself. I mean, I wanted a family, but I wanted a partner first. I had a hard time getting pregnant and I did in vitro and um, I got pregnant and I was pregnant with twins and one of the twins stopped developing really early on so um, but I did have a, a healthy baby boy and I'm just concerned that I don't know if that makes my miscarriage rate higher. How old are you gonna be? 35. 35, okay. Right, now you're that, that magic number that everybody knows about, that they start to worry about genetics and think in terms of genetic screening such as amniocentesis. And what you need to realize, it's not as if something terrible or different has happened just because you're 35. Mm -hmm. And if you look at this chart of the age of the mother at the time of delivery and the risk of a chromosomal abnormality at age 34, which was just last year, your risk of a baby with Downs would be one out of 465. At age 35, your risk is one out of 365. Uh -huh. So it's not as if something has changed that dramatically. The reason that we start talking about genetic screening historically at age 35 is because that's when the risk of having a baby with Down syndrome is greater than the risk of miscarriage from amniocentesis. Well, it's really early right now, so Obviously, I'm really concerned about having a miscarriage and just giving the right prenatal care. If the hormone level is doubling every 48 hours, once it gets to a certain critical threshold, we know that we can do an ultrasound and see if everything is forming correctly and if there's a heartbeat. Once we get to the heartbeat stage, while it's not a guarantee that it's going to proceed and be a viable genetically normal pregnancy, it's the first step that you get to in terms of being optimistic about the pregnancy. But I really believe that women can consider pregnancy at almost any point if they take into account these kinds of factors, that there are screening and diagnostic tests available to them, and would they want to take advantage of that.